No secrets. Hey guys, no secrets going out. Hi. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. <laughs> Thank you. We're still a little bruised about that, but we're looking forward to next year. Um, I teach at Lakeside School, which is a private school, where I teach the middle school and the upper school jazz band, which is a fancy word for high school. Um, and I teach at a community college. I teach at jazz band at Shoreline Community College, and I also lead the amazing professional group, the PH Factor. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And every time that band plays, we take the litmus test. And it's a small B, big age factor. <laughs> Scientifically correct. You like that? All right. So I like to have fun, especially when the group is as good as you guys are. So, man, I applaud. Woo! So what I do, oh, let's, and I also have, I have been bequeathed by the state of Reno <laughs> to award medallions this year. We've gotten away from the misspelled, you know, form thing. So now we just toss you a medal if we thought you were a good solo. Xavier Lucero. <laughs> Jackson Riley? Yeah. Okay, that's it. Noah Shaw. You saw play good. <laughs> Justin Murillo? Is that like Tommy Morello? Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> Guitar Hero, man. Rage yeah, Guitar Hero. Machine. I mean, he plays some crazy stuff. You should check him out. Seriously. He's on, it's like, whoa. Some weird sounds. I mean, he gets out there, doesn't he? Yeah. And he's. <laughs> but it's, it's pretty cool. Anyway, I thought you might be related. I, okay, I, so I was going to tell you guys, what I do is I, I write books while I'm listening to you. And I mean, I just start going, hey, nice opening. Too bad the trumpet messed up or something like that. You know what I mean? So I just kind of just write stuff as I hear it. Yeah. Don't be insulted by it because what all I'm doing is telling you what I heard, right? Okay, in one situation, another thing you guys got to realize is I'm not a judge. I did not score anybody. I'm here to help if I can. Or at least just make you feel good. Okay? Again, my job is not, again, if it feels like I gave you a little dude, you were too loud on the Tim Bali film, which is coming. Um, <laughs> you know, think about it. You can disregard what I say if you'd like, but I think you should consider it just because I do have a lot of experience, 30 years of teaching. And when I was your age, I would say when I was in eighth grade, I got my first Maynard Ferguson album, Chameleon. That changed my life. It changed my life. I started listening to jazz when I was in eighth grade. And literally, we listened to Count Bixi Sam, Ken, Buddy Rich at my house with me and my brothers. You're older, you're younger. And I didn't know that was good for me. I just liked listening to it. And then as I played, I found I was getting better. I want to say this to you guys, and I have a feeling you already know it. If you don't listen to jazz, you'll never learn to play it well. If you don't listen to it. Again, you've got a great teacher, right? I, I, can, I can sing a part pretty dang good, but it ain't listening to the real thing. Dig it? You know what I mean, you guys? So, so oh, sure. oh, okay, you guys got to dig it? Shout, shout. Yeah, right, that's time. Nice. Oh, shout? Sure. Oh, sure. Back to him again? <laughs> I just can't stop, can I? You guys know what, what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nice feel on top of LAP. La Almeja Pequena. Yeah. 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 Two years of high school Spanish, kids. Uh, what's Almeja mean? Well, yeah. I know the 
king and means my little bit of plan. And there were a few. <laughs> so, nice feel up top. First percussion break would be more musical. Because, man, you're playing really loud on those new bottles. Can you tell? I gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. That's good, in a way. So excitement, with excitement comes great responsibility. Right? <laughs> so you have, to, you have to play your role no matter what. You can't go, well, I just lost it. I just was having, ah! <laughs> okay, that's why we rehearse, right? So again, another thing is, you can probably tell when you were playing that you were pretty loud, right? Yeah. So another thing is, who's in charge of how loud you play? You are. And if you're going to play quiet, if you're going to play smooth, if you're going to play staccato, if you're going to play with each other, and how is that done, by the way? How do you make these decisions? What's the sense that you use? Smell? Hearing. Hearing. Everything's related to hearing, isn't it? That's how I knew you were too loud. I was sitting there writing my book, and I'm like, oh my goodness, the timbali is quite loud. Okay? And again, how did I know? Because I was listening. So that's what I'm encouraging you guys to do, because you can make these decisions while you're playing, if you're listening. Right, you guys? And again, don't be afraid to make an adjustment if you think you need to. Does that make sense, you guys? So you take that musicianship part on as your own thing, instead of like waiting for the dude to tell you you're too loud. You can probably tell when you're too loud. You can probably tell when you're out of tune, too, can't you? And well, do you need the director to tell you that you need to make an adjustment? No, you do it yourself because you want to take care of your musicianship, which you guys do, okay? This is the truth about this band, and a lot of the other judges felt the same way. A lot of it is really clean, smoking tight. That's all that gets, the clarity is missing at times. Well, there's, and we, I've already talked to the director about one of the reasons, and you guys could probably name one of the reasons. Why would clarity be with a problem with this group? Someone to speak up, take a chance on being right. Okay, articulation, but again, but why is articulation harder with this group than say the group that's playing right now? Yeah, we got nine trumpets, kids. We got how many saxes? Okay, so some people don't think that's cool. Because nine, that's everybody doubling on everything. By the way, were the lead trumpets playing together on the lead part the whole time? Yeah. I, if we, someone wrote, and this is so true, People split lead, one dude should play, the other one should rest. So somebody's always ready to kill it. Make sense, you guys? Uh -huh. So usually when you split lead, that's the way you're gonna do it. Now, I've also talked to your director, he's about everybody playing. And we get that as educators, you know what I'm saying? But we also said this, you're gonna give up clarity because of that, right, you guys? So how could you maybe say, well, no, we don't. It would be the brass has to chill a little bit at times, and maybe the saxes need to come up a bit at times, especially in the loud. Does that make sense, you guys? Because again, nine versus 14 when you add the trombones. Trombone, awesome section, by the way. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's hard for saxes to keep up with. Now, saxes, you gotta crank it up like brass players, too, right? So there's sort of like a happy medium. That is a crazy ligature. I've never seen that before. Yeah. Kinda like it. Um, no, a nice work, man. Sounding good. Guitar sounds nice with some good ideas, but at times it isn't in the pocket rhythmically. Okay? So your rhythm, and then I wrote, it was too loud. Could you tell how loud you were? Yeah. All you gotta do is go, <laughs> right? All you take a chance to go, another thing is, and I'm gonna say this about all the solos, all the solos kind of just burn. No one's going, that me. She didn't bad boy. And then you have a chance to build it because if you start out with Siva Dub and Dibit, where are you gonna go? To more Siva Dib and Dibit. So again, you're a very mature player. So just think about pacing your soul a little bit more. Make sense? Try to be tasty at the beginning. Play fewer notes. Play only chord tones. Come up with ways to, to play a game while you're doing it, and you're gonna find new stuff. Another thing I think you could do is play out a little bit more. Especially on Freedom Jazz Dance. Are you kidding me? That is just like, please play weird on me. So what, how can you play weird? You did some chromaticism, right? You like to do some chromaticism. That sounded great. And you, I think on one tune, you actually did play out for about a bar. I don't know if you intentionally meant to do it, but it sounded fine because your time is so good. When you play with good time as a soloist, you can get away with murder on notes if your time is cooking. Make sense? And your time is really good. So again, just think about pacing a little bit better, maybe. Okay, just you know, leaving some space for the rhythm section to fill in, but really great playing. I think that's true of all the solos. Just start a little bit slow and give yourself a chance to build up. Make sense, you guys? Okay. Um, okay, watch 
to watch. Nice job on this. Some of the more difficult lines are just a sloppy, a little sloppy, like the end I wrote. And I wrote the size of the band maybe one of the reasons why clarity is a problem. So, that being said, there's a vamp in the middle of the chart. Maybe when the bass vamp comes in, it should start quieter and build. Can we start there? Do you know what I'm talking about? There's this vamp where it comes down to just the bass and the drums. Yeah, I'm still on All Meha, the clown song. Did I switch songs here? I was just talking about solo. So, um, so do you know where that slot is, you guys? And then the trombone's coming, I think, on top of it. Well, jazz has the score, my friend. But again, I, if, if you guys know where it is. So what I thought about that spot was that you guys could have started quieter. Are you in on that right off the bat? Or do you come? So again, I was thinking, start quieter, then we add the next layer, and it just keeps building as we add more and more stuff into that. Because it gets busier and busier, right, you guys? As it goes along. So I'm just feeling like the whole thing could build better if we just started a little bit quieter. Every, we just step it up as we go in. Great, well, like, again, and I, I could tell that was the intention, but so what I'm thinking here is, okay, so the, ten, the intention, it was there, I could hear it, but if you started quieter, it would have been even more evident. And again, I felt like it just, in general, I just thought it could start to start quieter. So we're thinking like mezzo, mezzo piano maybe, okay? And it's just gonna build. So why don't you count them in, since I have no idea what the tempo is. One, five, three. 153. Or 153. <laughs> we got them all covered now. Yeah. 153. Yeah. Okay. Got it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.